area. Now, the Japanese Prime Minister, Naoto Kan, he was in Parliament at the time of the earthquake. There he is in Parliament at the time the earthquake struck. You can see there the lights swinging from side to side, uh, proceedings coming to a halt, a halt in uh, the, the Parliament. Let's just take a listen to what he had to say about events. Regarding our nuclear power facilities, some of the nuclear power plants have stopped automatically, but so far no radioactive material or radiation has been confirmed to have been leaked to the outside. There has been no information on the, of those lines so far. And given the situation, an emergency disaster response headquarters has been set up with myself as the head. We will secure the safety of the people of Japan, and in order to minimize the damage, the government will make every effort possible. And we ask the people of Japan to continue to be cautious and vigilant and keep tuned in to the reports on the television and radio. And we ask the people of Japan to act calmly. Well, that was no to can the Japanese Prime Minister there. Let's uh, hear more now from Annette Young from our International Affairs Desk. Annette, we're hearing uh, just on wires, actually, that uh, the government and the police in Japan have raised the death toll to 29 now. We're going to expect that this is going to be a major event. Absolutely, because not only was it the largest ever quake in Japan, it was the fifth strongest tremor worldwide since 1900, according to both American and Japanese seismologists. Um, and uh, the first quake struck apparently just under 400.